Welcome to an overcast day on the Fret Frontier. It's the beginning of a series of user choice videos showing how to translate the songs that focus on the fifth and sixth string for their iconic elements. What do you do when those strings are no longer there? And the request was for the Dock of the Bay. So let's start off with the guitar and uh, what we're working with. I'm going to break the verse up into two components. So we'll start off uh, with the first part of that verse. And it's all bar chords. Sitting in the morning sun. I'll be sitting when the evening comes. So what is important about that? What's happening there that we need to bring over? Basically, we have a, a bass line going. What you can do is take that bass line, move into open chords so you know what you'll be translating. Okay, so now we can come over, we can use those same chords on uh, the baritone in their shortened forms, and we need to get that bass line in there. Just because you don't have the bass strings doesn't mean you can't have a bass line meet me on the baritone ukulele. So here we are with our baritone ukuleles and we're going to translate that bass line onto our instruments. We don't have the fifth and the sixth string so what we're going to do is bring it up an octave higher. Let's play the same notes and then we start off on G which is open on the third string and it's basically a chromatic move just like it was when we were playing those bar chords up the neck on the guitar. We have G open, 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 A second fret, B flat or A sharp, however you want to think about it, and then the B. And then that B we could also play on that open second string and that's what we will do because we're playing an open G chord and it's just easier that way, either the same note. So we have open, 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 second fret, third fret, and then open on the second string. Then we're gonna, when we do the bass line down, we'll be on a C chord. So we're starting on the C note. It's the first fret of the second string. We'll C, 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 then move to the third string, with little finger, third finger, second finger, just walking down those notes, okay? And what we're gonna do is add a finger picking pattern in there, and the finger picking pattern is going to be bass, index, down, up, third string with the thumb, index finger on the second string, down, up. so it's thumb, index, G chord, down, up, and then our little bass run, G, A, B flat, and then open second string for that B. Okay, and that is our first measure. Let's just do that measure together. Two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, one more time. Two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. And then that brings us to our B chord, and we're going to use the dominant here. We'll use the B7, the third finger on the second fret, first string, second finger on the second fret, third string, index finger on the first fret of the fourth string. It's our B7. Uh, when we get into that, we let that first half a beat go. It's part of the finger picking pattern that we've been doing from the first measure. We have let that open B ring out to use our index finger in terms of our finger picking pattern to hit that first string and then the strum down down up down so now let's do just that second measure so it's two three four one and two three and four that's 
strumming the down ups with that index finger. The thing that looks like a little little table, that's the down stroke. The little V is the up stroke in your tablature. Let's put those two measures together on four, two, three, four. So we got the first two measures together. We have brought that bass movement in there so you can hear that part that the listener is expecting to hear that movement from that bass line. It's an octave higher. It still works. Let's move on to the third measure. We're on the C chord at this point. So when I do the C, I'm going to use my thumb rather than my index finger. I'm going to go one and, and then the index finger on the second string. Thumb, index, thumb, doing down strokes for my with my thumb, and up strokes with my index finger. Down, up, down, all the thumb playing the notes, and I'm doing that uh, four, three, two. So let's try that. Measure together the C chord two, three, four. Thumb, index, thumb. Thumb following the notes down. That's it. All right, now let's, look. Now let's play those three. First three measures together. Two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, one, and two, three, and four, and one. All right, so we got those three together and abruptly stop there so we can take on the A chord. We're going to play the A chord because I kind of like hearing that A. That's the last note I played in the bass, so I kind of want to hear that. If I take, if I do the A7, then the A goes away and it's a little unsettling to the ear. So we're going to do the A, and the way I'm doing it is I'm just stacking my fingers, third finger, second finger, first finger, on all of them on the second fret, the only one that is open is the first string. And so however your, your fingers like to sit there, there's a bunch of different ways you can stack them, but you get them in there. Uh, doing it as a bar is really unpleasant because you want to get that uh, first string open. So just stack your fingers and get that. So, and we're just doing strums. We have an upstroke on the second beat, so we go one and your index finger on that if you like to. One more time on the A, two, three, four, one, and two, three, and four. One, up, down, down, up, down. All right, let's do that whole first line, first four uh, measures, and to end on four. Two, three, four, one. So I'm trying to be very precise on the down, up, downs on that because that's how I tabbed it up for uh, the, the sheet that you can print out from this lesson. So I'm trying to follow that for you so you can hear it the way it's played. But when you're playing it and performing it, you can loosen it up, right? You can be... different each time however you want to do it but when you're starting off you just want to hear where those beats are and get something that is uh, stable so let's go on to the next uh, line so this is exactly the same it just repeats so let's go ahead and uh, what we're going to do now is we'll play all eight measures together two three four one
gives you the elements that we need for the first half of that uh, verse where we're going sitting in the morning sun And then we will do the um, second half of the verse in the next lesson. Hope you're enjoying this. And if you have any questions about the decisions that we made in moving this from the guitar to the ukulele, the baritone ukulele, put them in the comments and I'll answer you. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next episode.